Let's go to the second, and uh, Thrist Tristan, I beg your pardon, Lawrence, something of a home game for him. Born in Nelspreet, not too far away. And that is a lovely touch, isn't it? Difficult shot. Now another man who's got to use the fringe, he won't be able to pitch it on the green, but done it beautifully. In fact, that's the best of the three. Lovely. Van Royen has a super tight lies. Had to go for a straighter face club than what he wanted to. Plenty of green to work with. That's really good. It sort of sounded like the the back edge of the club got ground first. It sounded a bit like a drop kick, but he knew what he was doing, didn't he? Super touch. If they have a best moustache on tour, there's actually there isn't anybody actually even in second place. He's out there so far ahead on his own. Now let's uh, head up to the 18th and Andrew Beef Johnston, who's on the comeback trail. So many injuries. He's missed most of the last couple of years of golf. He's dropped a shot at 17. This for bogey at 18. But well done. So he makes it through to the weekend at three under par, no doubt about that. And that is something to build on. Well, you know, when you've been out of it for, for the best part of a year, you know, the, the stuff that just comes naturally to you year after year, your routines and, you know, working out your yardages and what club and the feel of what shape you want to hit, it just vanishes. Yeah, so might have yeah. changed to a 9 iron because he's got 169. So, I mean, even with a 9 iron, that's. He's going to hope to get a little bit of a flyer, but he's got to obviously get it exactly the right height to get it through that gap. No noise. Oh. What a marvellous shot from Dale Whitman. Wow. And the potential danger there, Dom. Look at that ruffle. Right, if that hits the tree and goes right, you're dropping in the same place and playing another one. De Paratore coming out of the sand. Nice that he was at the back of the bunker, though. His fairway bunkers are they're nice. They're quite tightly compacted. And if you get a, if you get the strike, just about as good as fairway. Look at this. It's just getting better and better. Oosthuizen from the same bunker that Paratore was in at four. Sounded very good, didn't it? Oh yes. Just purest of strikes. Man, those were two good shots. Migliozzi. His tee shot at the par three. At front left pin placement. Need to keep it a bit right of the hole. Oh no, that's a beauty. Wow. That's aggressive. What is that, Tony? Waterbuck. What a specimen. Big male. Look at the horns. Very side. dark colour. Is it wet? I, I think he is, actually. Yeah, they're normally sort of a, a lighter grey. And they have a white circle on their backside. Hey. Paratore. Ooh, there, he's giving it a talking to. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think he must have been telling us how good it was. And it was. I wonder if he's the, the beach master, if he's the dominant bull on the stretch of river. There's always one, and they don't take any grief from any other males. They have serious battles. They'll fight to the death, big male hippos. Burmester's tee shot finished in the bunker at the sixth. So this is second, second shot. I wonder what sort of lie he had. Oh, he, yeah, he's using that back slope. Lovely second, and in she goes. Well done. And all of a sudden he moves to five under, so he's only three off the lead. The man who has won back to back at the start of the 2024 season. 151, probably playing closer to 140. You have to hit it past the holes wider. Margin for error. That's a fabulous tee shot. 
You can only do that if you've got loads and loads of confidence. Well done, Eric van Rooyen. Yeah, it's done, but you can thread it through the bunkers. Just has to dodge that little bunker on the right hand side and it makes its way on the green. Using the bank, look at this one. This is gonna be good. So clever and so beautifully played. Now Vera at the second, this is his third shot to the par five. Oh, and that's a beauty. That is really a stunner. Paratori's little chip shot at the par three. That is a magnificent shot. Beautifully played. He's got ridiculous skills. When he first came out on tour, the Italian players were all saying, you've got to watch this kid. He's a genius. And he is. He needs to just get it out, maybe even pitch it on the fringe. But he also might elect to use a slope. No, he hasn't. That's a beautiful shot. Nicely played. That's when you can tell a man's a fine bunker player. High and soft, out in swing path. Birchall's Zebras. Birchall was a great explorer. Van Royen does not have a good lie. The ball settled down in the sand. He's behind trees. He's got 196. He can't get this to the green. There's no way. If he was going to try and get it on the green, he'd have to aim it in the bush 20 yards right of the green and play a high hook against the wind. There's just no chance. Wait a minute, maybe there is. <laughs> that was a quick change of mind, Jay. Are you kidding me? No way. You can't do that. It's outrageous. It was not a great lie. I don't know how he managed to get that pure strike on it because it had rolled down gently into the sand. From the middle bunker, this pin is lurking, breeze back into his face. Just look down at this beautiful green. Ooh, oh, what fair. a shot. What a shot. That is a tough flag to get at. Yes, the wind's into his face, which is helping him hold it up a little. Now, Tristan Lawrence. His second shot at the par four uphill 10th hole. Pinned today 27, right at the back of the green on the left. Just four from the left edge. Oh, fabulous. He's making a bit of a move. Schwartzel's drawn a poor lie here. A lot of sand behind the ball. It's a downslope to the hole over the fringe. This is inside of 10 feet. It's a good shot. Wow. He just took on a lot of risk with that shot. Phenomenal effort. Out in 32. Sam Jones in the bunker at the par 5, 15. Well, that was brave, wasn't it? <laughs> Schwartzel has a nice lie here, plenty of green to work with. The only tough thing here is going into the wind. Will it release enough? Genius, brilliant. Jordan Rapula, he's one over. Needs a couple of birdies. 18th is a par five, so that's a, an opportunity. And after that, tee oh, he could have done it all in one hole. <laughs> wow, what a tee shot. Yep. Casey Jarvis, our leader. Oh, <laughs> and he was trying to do that because he took the pin out. He knew something. Look at that for a scorecard. Now, what have we got here over in the park? Oh, nice. The youngish male hasn't really developed his mane yet. Oh. Hot out there, 235. He'll just lie there and pant all day. That's Leon de Lion. Oh, no. You want to be hearing that at least. Well. You do if it pitches there. <laughs> oh, he had us going there. You think, well, there's water over the back. Oh, you can't do that, can you? 
He's lying sixth on the opening swing order of merit at the moment, Renato Paratore. So that's how it looks at the top. Marco Penge has found another birdie. He'll finish up over at nine. And he's alongside Robin Williams, who has three holes to go of his second round. We saw the birdie for Dingle at 14. He's moved into the group at seven under alongside four-time DP World Tour winner Andy Sullivan. Two of those coming down here in Southern Africa. Mazzaid Noda, former champion, also in the mix at six under, and so is Louis Eustazen and Eric Van Rooyen. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.